headed back the way we came, in the direction of the giant screen. That's when we walked straight into a group of kids we didn't know. They had just come out of the woods doing stuff I'm sure they didn't want their teachers to know about. I could smell the smoke now. A smell of both firecrackers and cigarettes. They pointed a flashlight at us. There were six of them, four boys and two girls. They looked like they were in the seventh grade. What school are you from? One of the boys called out. Peter Pratt. Jack started to answer when all of a sudden, one of the girls started screaming. Oh my God! She shrieked, holding her hand over her eyes like she was crying. I figured maybe a huge bug had just flown into her face or something. No way! One of the boys cried out and he started flickering, flicking his hand in the air like he just touched something hot. And then he covered his mouth. No freaking way, man! No freaking way! All of them started half laughing and half covering their eyes now, pushing each other and cursing loudly. What is that? Said a kid who was pointing the flashlight at us. And it was only then that I realized that the flashlight was pointed right at my face. And what they were talking about, screaming about, was me. Let's get out of here, Jack said to me quietly. And he pulled me by my sweatshirt sleeve and started walking away from them. Wait, 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 yelled a guy with the flashlight, cutting us off. We pointed a flashlight, flashlight. He pointed a flashlight right in my face again, and now he was only about five feet away. Oh man, oh man, he said. Shaking his head, his mouth wide open. What happened to your face? Stop it, daddy, said one of the girls. I didn't know what we were watching Lord of the Rings tonight. He said, look guys, it's Gollum. This made his friend hysterical. Again, we tried to walk away from them, and again the kid named Eddie cut us off. He was at least a head taller than Jack, who was about a head taller than me, so the guy looked huge to me. No man, it's alien! Said one of the other kids. No, no, no man, it's an orc! I laughed at Eddie, pointing the flashlight in my face again. This time, he was right in front of us. Leave him alone, okay? Said Jack, pushing the hand holding the flashlight away. Make me! Answered Daddy, pointing the flashlight in Jack's face now. What's the problem, dude? Said Jack. Your boyfriend's my problem. Jack, let's just go, I said, pulling him by his arm. Pulling him by the arm. Oh man, it talks, screamed Eddie, shining the flashlight in my face again. Then one of the other guys threw a firecracker at our feet. Jack tried to push past Eddie, but Eddie shoved his hands into Jack's shoulder and pushed them hard, which made Jack fall backward. Eddie, screamed one of the girls. Look, I said, stepping in front of Jack and holding my hand up in the air like a traffic cop. We are a lot smaller than you guys. Are you talking to me, Freddy Krueger? I don't think you want to mess with me, you ugly freak, said Eddie. And this was the point where I knew I should run away as fast as I could. But Jack was still on the ground and I wasn't about to leave him. You do, said a new voice behind us. Watch up, man. Eddie spun around and pointed his flashlight toward the boys. For a second, I couldn't believe who it was. Leave them alone, dude, said Amos, with Mile and Henny right behind him. Says who? Said one of the guys with Eddie. Just leave them alone, dude, Amos repeated calmly. Are you a freak too? said Eddie. They're a whole bunch of freaks, said one of his friends. Amos didn't answer them, but looked at us. Come on, guys, let's go. Mr. Tushim is waiting for us. I knew there was a lie, but I helped Jack get up, and we started walking over to Amos. 
Then out of the blue, the Eddie guy grabbed my food as I passed by him, yanking it really hard. So I was pulled backward and fell flat on my back. It was a hard fall, and I hurt my elbow pretty bad on the rock. I couldn't really see what happened afterward, except that I almost rammed into the Eddie guy like a monster truck, and they both fell down to the ground next to me. Everything got really crazy after that. Someone pulled me up by my sleeve and yelled, Run! And someone else screamed, Get them! At the same time, and for a few seconds, I actually had two people pulling the sleeve of my sweatshirt in the opposite direction. I heard them both cursing until my sweatshirt ripped and the first guy yanked me by my arm and started pulling me behind him as we ran, which I didn't. Which I did as fast as I could. I could hear footsteps just behind us, chasing us, the voice shouting, the girl screaming. But it was so dark. I didn't know whose voice they were. Only that everything felt like we were underwater. We were running like crazy. It was pitch black. And whenever I started to slow down, the guy pulling me by my arm would ye- yell, Don't stop! Finally, after what seemed like a forever of running, someone yelled, I think we lost them. Amos? I'm right here, said Amos' voice a few feet behind us. We can stop, Miles yelled from further up. Jack, I yelled. Whoa, said Jack, I'm here. I can't see a thing. Are you sure we lost them? Henny asked, letting go of my arm. That's when I realized that he'd been the one who was pulling me as we run. Yeah, shh, let's listen. We all got super quiet, listening for footsteps in the dark. All we could hear were the crickets and frogs and our own crazy panting. (sighs) We were out of breath, stomach hurting, bodies bent over our knees. We lost them, said Henry. That was intense. What happened to the flashlight? I dropped it. How did you guys know? Said Jack. We saw them before. They looked like jerks. You just rammed into him. I said to Amos. I know, right? Left Amos. He didn't even see you coming. Said Miles. He was like, are you a freak too? And you were like, bam, said Jack. Bam, said Amos, throwing a fake punch in the air. But after I tackled him, I was like, Run, Amos! You smoke! He's ten times bigger than you! And I got up, started running as fast as I could. We all started laughing. I grabbed Aggie, and I was like, Run! said Henry. I didn't even know he was you pulling me, I answered. That was wild, said Amos, shaking his head. Totally wild! Your lips is bleeding, dude. I got in a couple of good punches and said Amos, wiping his lip. I think they were seventh graders. They were huge. Losers! Henry shouted really loudly, but we all hushed him. We listened for a second to make sure no one had heard him. Where the heck are we? asked Amos. I can't even see this on screen. I think we are in the cornfield, answered Henry. Duh, we are in the cornfield, said Miles, pushing cornstalk at Henry. Okay, I know exactly where we are, said Amos. We have to go back in this direction. That will take us to the, the other side of the field. You do, said Jack. Hands high in the air. That was really cool of you guys to come back for us. Really cool, thanks. No problem, answered Amos, high-fiving Jack. And then Miles and Henley high-fived him too. Yeah, dude, thanks, I said, holding my palm up like Jack just had. Though I wasn't sure if they would high-five me too. Amos looked at me and nodded. It was cool how you stood your ground, little dude, he said, high-fiving me. Yeah, Guy, said Miles, high-fiving me too. You are like... We are littler than you guys. I didn't know what else to say. I left. Very cool, said Henry, and he high-fived me too. Sorry, I ripped your sweatshirt.
I looked down and my sweatshirt was completely torn down the middle. One sleeve was ripped off and the other was so stretched out it was hanging down to my knees. Hey, your elbow is bleeding, said Jack. Yeah, I short. I was starting to hurt a lot. It was starting to hurt a lot. You okay? said Jack, seeing my face. I nodded. Suddenly, I felt like crying and I was trying really hard not to do that. Wait, your hearing aids are gone, said Jack. What? I yelled, touching my ears. The hearing aid band was definitely gone. That's why I felt like I was underwater. Oh no, I said, and that's when I couldn't hold it in anymore. Everything that had just happened kind of hit me and I couldn't help it. I started to cry, like big crying, what mom would call the water works. It was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, I hid my face in my arm, but I couldn't stop the tears coming from coming. The guys were really nice to me though. They patted me on the back. You're okay, dude. It's okay, they said. You're one brave little dude, you know that? said Amos, putting his arm around my shoulders. And when I kept on crying, he put both his arms around me like my dad would have done when let me cry.